Okay, um, so we have learned what is actually acid and base. And based on a given equation, you should be able to determine acid, base, conjugate acid as well as conjugate base. And next, what we're going to look at is actually a pH. So what is actually a pH? It's a scale to express acidity or basicity. So um, previously, uh, what we have learned that is that the acidic solution is pH less than 7 and the basic solution, the pH would be more than 7. Cardio neutral is actually in the middle lah pH 7 sebab usually pH kita belajar adalah 1 until 14. So tengah-tengah ni is actually neutral uh, and then less than 7 acid, more than 7 is actually is a base. And then, okay, kalau kita ada belajar kalda juga, so if an acid, if you have a penny, if you have a blue litmus paper, it will change to red. Okay, kalau you do red, it will still, uh, it will remain in uh, red. Um, kalau apa ni, for a base, kalau contohnya we have red litmus paper, so it will change to blue. Macam tu lah kan? So that is your previous knowledge. Okay, but then what we're going to look at now is actually the definition pH2 is actually a measure of the concentration of ions in the uh, in a solution okay what ion so it's either your H plus ataupun uh, H3O plus and then pH is actually equal to negative log H plus so yang ini kita memang akan belajar sebab mostly kita akan guna ni is for calculation so, dia kata dekat sini, if H plus is high, uh, is uh, apa ni? If H plus is high, the pH would be low. Okay, sebab why? Sebab ada yang negatif ni lah. Okay, so for example kan, so I'm just going to calculate. Kalau concentration miss adalah 1, so my pH would be, negative log 1 would be 1 lah kan? Negative log 1, so miss akan dapat. Zero. Okay. So, contohnya kalau concentration means adalah 0 0.1. My pH should be negative log 0 0.1 dapat 1. Kalau concentration means adalah 0 0.01. My pH should be negative 0 0.01. Sini dapat 2. So, as you can see here sebenarnya kalau concentration dia... Uh, bila concentration dia berkurang from 1 to 0 0.1 to 0 0 point, 0 0.01 pH dia decrease or as you can see dekat sini if H plus increase pH dia decrease so concentration yang high pH yang paling kecil the concentration the lowest ni pH dia yang paling besar so that's why lah the relationship ni and that's why kalau pH tu if we say our pH ni adalah 1 until 7 is considered as acidic lah. Kalau tapi pH 1 until 6 kan. Kalau pH tu adalah as, uh, 8 until 14 it will consider as basic. Sebab concentration of H tu akan jadi sangat-sangat-sangat kecil. So that's why lah pH tu would be a high value. So this is um, about the pH lah. Okay next kita tengok. Okay yang ini yang kita jarang sikit dengar. POH. Now we're going to look at POH. So, kalau pH adalah measure of H+, plus, kalau pOH is a measure of OH minus ions in a solution. So, kalau pOH, P ni maksud dia dekat sini. P ni is actually our negative log. Okay. And then dekat dekat sini, if OH plus is high, then pOH is low. Sama jugalah sebab kita tengok berdasarkan relationship ni, negative log. But then the pH ni would be high. So what does it mean? Nanti kita akan tengok lagi. Sebenarnya our pH and pOH can be related by using this equation. pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So maknanya kalau pOH dia rendah, dia punya pH would be high lah. Sebab dia bila kita tambahkan 2 of this value, it would be equal to 14. So kalau ni rendah, pH kita akan be high. Okay so that is about our pH and pOH. Next, we're going to look at is actually the water ionization constant. So, yang ni miserangkan sikit je lah. So, water ionization constant. So, H2O kita tahu dia boleh dissociate tu jadi H plus dengan OH minus. Okay, and then if you still remember from chapter 6, Kc is equal to of the concentration of product over reactant. Tapi kalau Kc, we have to take into account is only equals dengan, um, apa ni, dengan gas. 
So that's why ni H plus dengan OH minus saja. H2O ni is not considered sebab dia liquid. So KC is not considered lah. And then, kalau the H plus dengan OH minus ni, we will also denote it as KW. And at 25 degree Celsius, uh, the concentration of H plus dengan OH minus ni adalah 1 exponent negative 7. So when we insert the value into this equation, we will get the KW is actually 1 exponent negative 40. So itu adalah tentang your water ionization constant. So tu mesti terang, kena terangkan sebab it's in your learning outcome. Lepas tu kita akan tengok the relationship between KW, PH dengan POH. So KW water ionization constant, PH study measure of concentration H+. Plus. OH, concentration of OH minus. Okay, back from the equation tadi, kita tahu H plus dengan OH minus is equal to KW. Lepas tu sebab kita nak relatekan dengan P kan. So, P ni negative log lah. So, that's why I'm going to do negative log on both side. Ni misalkan negative log on both side. So, that's why here I have negative log H plus OH minus dengan negative log KW. And then when I expand it, misalkan dapat negative log minus negative log H plus minus negative log OH. Ini pun sama juga. And then remember, P adalah, P is actually equal to negative log lah. Sebab kalau PH adalah negative log H plus, POH is equal to negative log OH minus. Okay, so sebab itulah, Miss dapat yang inilah. Okay, PH dengan POH ni, sebab, P negative log H, uh, POH negative log OH. And then ni negative log KW boleh jadi PKW. And then, tapi kali ni KW ni kita tahu value dia adalah 1 exponent negative 14. So, last but not least, apa punya lah panjang nak berceritakan. But actually what we want to know is actually the PH plus POH is equal to 14. Ha, so, yang ini adalah habis apa yang Miss tulis dekat sini jugalah. Ni pun Miss tulis kan. Dekat atas ni. Okay. So that is actually the relationship. Okay. So yang gini sikit je Miss terangkan. Okay next. Uh, what we're gonna look at is actually. Uh, pasal acid dengan base lagi. Tapi kita kena tahu. Acid is divided into two. We have strong. We have weak. The same goes to our base. Okay. So, kalau acid, okay, strong acid. So, what's the difference between strong and weak? Okay. Kalau strong acid, dia akan dissociate completely. Completely to produce high H plus or H3O plus. Concentration of um, H plus lah, concentration kan. And then, because it's... Because it dissociate completely, so the punya degree of dissociation dia adalah 1. Okay, so example dia, kita tengok the HCl ni akan dissociate jadi H plus dengan Cl minus. HNO3 ni, dia akan dissociate fully, completely. So, bila dia completely, we're going to use apa ni? Um, Apa ni? The arrow, full-handed arrow ni. Uh, so, sebab dia dissociate completely. So, yang strong ni, ingat juga, I'm just going to write it at the um, side here. Kalau strong ni, mestilah yang one-headed uh, one arrow lah. Yang macam kita selalu buat equation tu. Okay, tapi kalau weak acid. So, what's the difference between strong and weak? So, kalau weak, dia akan dissociate partially to produce low concentration of H plus ataupun H3O plus and the, and the dissociation would be less than 100% lah. So, kalau completely je 100%, so kalau yang ini it will be less than 100% ataupun kita senang buat ni lah alpha dia less than 1. Okay, so kat sini for example, um, we have our, apa ni, we have our carboxylic acid here. So, kita tengok bila dia dissociate, memanglah akan form H plus dengan H2O plus. Sama juga dengan strong. So, the difference is actually, kita punya tengok arrow ni. It's actually reversible arrow. Ha, so, kalau weak ni, tak kisahlah. It's either acid or base. Dia mesti lah yang double-headed arrow tu. Uh, ataupun kita buat yang reversible lah. Eh, one-headed pula reversible arrow. 
It's not like one headed One headed is actually Untuk mechanism ni Maksud dia Macam mana kita tulis Yang full arrow ni lah ha, Yang ni kita buat yang full arrow tu eh Yang ni not reversible punya arrow <laughs> Okay So okay And then we have to determine lah The species dia dekat sini So sometimes Sebenarnya um, It's not only Kalau strong ni Kamu boleh tengok lah Example the hydrohalic Halic ni halide Which is group 17 Satu so, ada chlorine Bromine Iodine Okay, lepas tu contohnya kalau untuk weak acid ni sebenarnya hint untuk kamu senang tahu is actually kalau dia bagi dekat kamu dia give value dia it's not only the visible arrow kalau dia bagi give uh, dia, dia give kamu value of K so it could be K A which says for acid B for B so kalau ada K tu so it means that it's actually a weak one lah ok so kita tengok dekat sini tengok base pula sama juga Uh, dekat sini dia akan dissociate Kalau base a strong one Dia akan dissociate completely To produce OH minus And then this is the few example How to determine what is actually a strong base lah Okay tapi sebenarnya senang lagi determine kalau weak Okay so kalau weak base Dia akan dissociate partially To produce low OH Sebab dia boleh dissociate um, partially So maknanya yang ini tak semua lah disosiat tak semua apa ni tak semua OH minus is produce sebab dia partially kan so not all of yang ini apa ni not all of H2O ni akan form OH minus tapi kalau yang from our now ni sebab bila dia fully disosiat so yang ini concentration yang OH minus pun jadi high okay so but how to determine which one is strong which one is weak sebenarnya Okay, kalau dia bagi value K tu, ha, tu adalah hint lah tu. Ha, that is the hint enough for you to determine is actually a weak uh, acid or peace. 